people always ask me how to play lead guitar and create solos that travel all the way up and down the neck of the guitar. And I do that using the five positions of the minor pentatonic scales, the major pentatonic scales, and the blues scale. And there are five positions each for uh, each one of those scales, those three scales each have five positions. But it's not nearly as hard as it sounds because trust me, once you learn the five positions of the minor pentatonic scales, all the other scales, the major pentatonic scale and the blues scale, they're all structured very similarly. So you can kind of just piggyback over the original five positions that you learned for these minor pentatonic scales. So in the les this lesson, we're going to start learning the minor pentatonic scales because that's how I started learning how to play lead guitar, started with the minor pentatonics and then went from there. So I think it's a great way to start and kind of create a foundation that you can build upon to start creating dynamic solos that travel all the way up and down the neck of the guitar. So first things first, go over to the scales section of my website, the guitar scales section, and navigate to the minor pentatonic scales, and go ahead and print out the minor, pen minor pentatonic scales for uh, all the keys. You'll see a little, a little print all button. So go ahead and print that out and get that ready and have that handy for this lesson. So when you're first learning these minor pentatonic scales, I would suggest learning the E minor pentatonic scale first. And the reason for that is it's a lot easier to visualize the E minor pentatonic scale because the first position of the E minor pentatonics, it starts down here at the near the nut, and the second position is the next one up, and it goes in order one, two, three, four, five, all the way up to neck. So it's it's really a lot easier to uh, help you visualize it as you're starting to learn these, these scales. And so anyways, let's look at the E minor pentatonic scale chart that you got right in front of you. And look at the first position. I just wanted to mention that um, each of the dots represents a note of the scale in that position. And it's a note that's going to be played in the scale. And the black dots, those indicate the root note of the scale. In other words, if you're playing the E minor pentatonic scale, the root note is going to be the note of an E. So it's, it's as easy as that. And one thing worth mentioning about the first position of the E minor pentatonic scale is that it can be played in two different places. The first place you can play it, as I have shown in the diagram, is up here at the 12th fret. You can also play the first position of the E minor pentatonic scale down here at the nut using the open strings. So when you're practicing these scales, I would recommend starting with the, you know, starting on the sixth string and play up the scale and then back down the scale. In other words, play up the scale, like so, and then back down. And one other very important thing to keep in mind is that you probably want to use alternate picking when you're practicing. In other words, down, up, down, up. You're going to be picking down, up, you know, every other time. So down, up, down, up, down, up. It'll really help your, your pick accuracy. It'll help you build speed in the long term. So it's a very good habit to get into. So the great thing about these pentatonic scales is that once you learn the five positions, you'll be able to solo over any song that's played in any key. All you need to know are the five positions. And the reason for that is because these positions are movable. You can move them from one spot on the neck of the guitar to another and use the same fingering and that will change the key that you're playing the scale in. In other words, say you're playing the first position of the G minor pentatonic scale right here at the uh, third fret. So that's the first position of the G minor pentatonic scale. But say 
I'm, I'm playing a solo in a song that uh, the song's in the key of A, and it's not in the key of G, it's in the key of A. Well, I want to play that first position in the key of A minor pentatonic. So all I would do is just move up to where the root note, that black dot right there is on the A, fifth fret. And I'll be able to know how to solo, you know, use the same exact fingering, same exact wrists, just in a different spot on the neck. So it's as easy as that, it just transfers to a different location, different starting point. So your homework from this lesson is to learn and memorize the five positions of the E minor pentatonic scale. And really, I cannot stress enough how important it is to actually memorize each position and to just internalize it because you have to be able to see these positions in your head and you know, visualize on the neck of the guitar which notes are part of the scale. Because, and it really breaks it down and it allows you to you know, play a little riff and know which notes are in the first position and then if you want to go up the neck to you know a different riff that you're playing up here you'll know that oh, okay I was playing this riff in the first position but now boom boom now I'm gonna play this riff you know another riff in the third position and I know exactly where I am in the scale and it, it just makes sense so I know when you start learning this stuff it's it's gonna just click it's really not that hard and it's, it's really formula driven and um, I th I'm excited about this. I think it's really going to help you all um, learn your lead guitar and we're going to get into some awesome stuff here in the future uh, and I'm going to show you all how to incorporate the minor pentat I mean the major pentatonic scales also and the blue scale. You know, mix those in with the minor pentatonics to make your solo sound a little bit more interesting. So when you're learning these positions, I would recommend learning one, you know, the first position, you know, really grind that position out and memorize that one position and, and get it down to where you don't have to think about it anymore. And then pra practice it with the metronome, you know, make sure you're, you're using your alternate picking. And once you're comfortable with that position, you know, 100% comfortable, then move to the next position and, and learn that one. And kind of learn each one in steps. Don't try to learn every single position all at once because it'll just create this jumbled mess inside your head and you won't really remember it, or I, I wouldn't anyway. So that's how I did it and it really helped me as I was learning how to play these scales. So that concludes the lesson. Um, feel free to send me an email at texasguitarplayer at gmail.com if you have any questions about these pentatonic scales or any of the uh, soloing techniques or anything like that. I know it kind of gets confusing and I try to do my best to explain it all. There's a lot of stuff to, uh, to explain, so it's really easy to miss things. So if I miss something and you need a little more clarification, shoot me an email. Otherwise, have fun practicing those pentatonic scales, and I'll see you all at the next lesson.